What is up guys, Andrew with No Excuses TV here and today I'm actually getting ready for a trip this weekend and so I'm gonna show you my top five like must haves for teardrop camping, even though it's really not teardrop, but here we go. So like I mentioned, Xander and I are going to Colorado this, so today is the 17th, I know it's Monday, so there's a little day behind. So this Friday we're driving to Colorado and coming back to like next Tuesday or Wednesday, like right before Thanksgiving. Realistically, one, to try out some new stuff we got for kind of keeping us warm in the camper. And this winter camping, and we haven't been to Colorado, he's never been to Colorado, it's going to be a lot of fun. But it made me think, as I was packing, what are my essentials that I must have on this trip that I cannot go camping without? Um, and so we're just going to let you tell you what they are. Mine are going to be a little different because mine involve a little bit more kind of like, like electronic stuff, but they're things that have made my trips so much easier and so, so much more enjoyable and reliable and uh, I'm sure they will if you have any of the type of trips that we go on they'll, they'll fit in and out with your plans so uh, first off let me go grab it for you real quick so we do a lot of stuff that's I don't really I mean maybe a little glamping especially for Xander and stuff to keep him entertained we do a lot of stuff with electronics I shoot a lot of videos I shoot a lot of stuff on my phone on my cameras I need my electronics to stay charged so cables are a big deal like I have five or six of them that I keep on this big bungee that are ready to go at any time that I need them and they're, I keep them organized I keep them in the same spot um, and it also kind of helps me know whenever I can tell Xander hey go get this cord it's in this spot it makes it a lot easier with charging when he wants to charge his iPad when we need to charge my iPhone because I've been filming with it all day Whenever our GoPros are about to die we need to charge those we have a lot of filming stuff we film a lot we enjoy doing it whether we're doing it this for this channel or just Xander's making stuff for his own you know stuff that he wants to make his own videos that he's been making lately we gotta keep him charged so number one that must have that I keep all the time makes such a big difference you probably don't think about them or you think about them all the time cable chargers. All right, so my number two must have is headlamps. Now we have a ton of headlamps. I keep them in here. Um, primarily, these have replaced our uh, flashlights. Like I have one, two, three, four, five in here. Xander's got two more, so we have about six or seven. I just keep them in this Tupperware case and we keep them in the, in the camper with us all the time. Another reason why I have to have those charging cables, because they're all USB chargers. That's why um, I was kind of worried about when we got this camper, making sure that it was gonna have enough power to keep up with all the stuff we're doing. Haven't had a single issue yet. One of the times, we're, most of the time we're hooked up on shore, but even when we haven't been, we have the power. So those headlamps have made such, make, it makes it so much easier. It frees up your hands. It, Xander likes them a lot more, because he's not, he can just basically look where he's wanting to go. He sees where he's wanting to go. Uh, even Oakley likes the headlamps, and so, I, I have completely, I don't know, I don't remember the last time I owned a flashlight because wherever, whatever I'm doing, if I need a flashlight, I'm popping on a headlamp because I know it's charged, I know where they're at, I know how reliable they are, I like being hands-free, um, it makes moving around camp, setting up camp at night, whatever we need to do, makes it so much easier, so much easier with those headlamps. So that's number two. So number one cable is number two, headlamp. All right, the third thing that has made our trips so much easier, again, simple stuff, bungee cords. I have packs and packs of bungee cords everything is either bungeed down bungeed up bungeed out of the way it's these bungee cords i use these so in the trip we're about to take when we go out to colorado we're leaving after school we're going to drive through the night to get there i want my camper to be set up ready to go so we can just sleep in it once we get there so it's not designed to travel that way it's not the slide out's supposed to be up secured but with bungee cords, I figured out a way that I can have it all the way out, bungee it to one of the doors uh, that, so it won't slide back and forth. That way we can have it all set up, ready to go um, once we get there. And again, it's because of these, these little bungee cords. Um, I cannot tell you how much stuff, uh, we'll show you, but I can't tell you how much stuff we get bungeed up, bungeed around. We use these inside the camper, around the camper, on the camper, in the trees when we get home. Um, we just use them inside a lot. We love, I mean, they're so, I use them so much. And it's little things that you don't think of that you're gonna need that uh, makes makes the trip so much, so much better. All right, number three, bungee cords. All right, so our number four thing is something that I haven't Actually, it's it's new. It's it's not new to me. I mean, it's new to me too. But it's something that's been added to our uh, camping must-haves this year, and that is my AeroPress Go that I got from AeroPress back when we went on our Badlands trip uh, back in June. Um, since we've got it, 
it's made every single trip. We've used it every single time, maybe every morning on that trip. And primarily because I can make both hot and the cold brew style coffees with it. Now, I didn't really know that that was gonna be, like I knew it was gonna, uh, possible theoretically, and that people have done it with the, with the cold brew press or whatever style, because I and when, it's, when it's hot, and I can't drink coffee coffee, and I, um, I'll, I'll sweat, I'll get hot, it just doesn't help. But you know, when we're going to California, uh, not California, Colorado, this is gonna get big. Having that ability to just cook that, or brew that coffee real quick. Um, I'll use my jet boil. Uh, to boil the water to get it ready to go. Just, those things are super quick. I could have a pot on the burner for um, that we use um, with the five gallon on the actual uh, Tiger Moth, but that jet boil makes it go a little bit quicker. So yeah, this AeroPress Go has been a huge lifesaver. A lot of times, just give me when it's tired, not really want to do anything, don't help get the little wake me up to get going in the mornings. Uh, love this thing. Super small, so it never. I don't have to worry about packing it anywhere. Um, and it's super easy to make all the coffees that I'm going to need to make while we're out camping and enjoying the outdoors. All right, so that's four of them. Now for our last one. All right, so my number five thing that I bring uh, every time I go camping this well, in the last six months, every time we've gone any kind of camping really, but really in the Texas, what we've been using, um, it's something that I didn't do before that I have realized now has been a bigger deal than I thought it was gonna be and helped out a whole lot more than I thought it would. And that's keeping a camping journal and a trip journal of every trip that we take. So what I'm putting in here is not like as much of what I'm like, what are we feeling that day? You know, how was the day? Like more like that type of journaling. It's more of like record keeping, to be honest. What I'm putting in there is like, where did we go? What was the weather like? What was the temperature? What site did we stay at? Um, who all was with us, what activities did we do, where did we go, what places did we not go. But we're also putting, what did I forget? What would have made this trip better? What, um, if I go on this, did I forget my raincoats? Did I forget to pack enough water? Did we not have enough cold stuff um, to keep us cold? Is it too hot? All those things. And the reason I started doing it is because I'm wanting to improve on my trip experience every single time. And so what what I plan to do with these is when we go out then this next year or in the future, any time that we go on a trip, I can look back at this journal if I've gone somewhere similar. Maybe it's not that even the similar type of environment, but it's gonna have the similar type of weather that we experienced before. What did I forget? What's the one thing that I should have brought that I didn't bring that I wish I would have brought? So there's already been a couple of things that we, uh, that I've, that I've written in here that I forgot on the trip that I made sure is something that we keep in the camper from then on. Um, it's 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 not something that you would put on a must-have list, like uh, the top five things you have to have in my camper, but it is in mine, and it's made each trip got a little better, a little better, a little better, a little better, and I forget less stuff, and I've actually reduced the amount of clutter in my camper because I'm like, there's so much stuff that I've taken that I don't need, I have never used. So I take it out, I put it up, and it opens up more space. So yeah, that's my number five. So let's go back to number one was my chargers, two, my headlamps, three, my bungee cords, four, that AeroPress Go, which is kinda new and is kinda awesome, and then my journal. So those are my top five things I have in my camper all the time that I use every single trip that make my trips great, my experience great, and this thing is gonna hopefully make the ones going down the line even better and better and better. So what is something you wouldn't see on those other top 10, top 20 things that you have to have in your camper that you have in your camper and you have it and you use it every time you go. These were mine. These probably aren't on the list that you go out and see. These are the things that I use and they've made such a difference in our experience in our text Tiger Moth. Comment down below, tell us what they are. Um, if you like these videos, if you like this, these kind of taxa stuff, um, if you're an outdoorsy person who likes to just be outdoorsy and go hiking, camping, fishing, all that stuff, um, make sure this is the channel for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you like this video. I am gonna take the rest of my time and go finish out planning my trip because like I said, me and Xander this Friday are headed to Colorado for four or five days. So I gotta start packing, gotta figure out what all we're gonna take. Weather-wise, it's not gonna be that bad. It's gonna be like in the highs in the 40s, lows just below freezing and out, so sleeping should be awesome. Uh, we got a new heated sleeping bag liner to try out, so you'll get a review on that. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a fun time. So in a few weeks, we'll see, show you some videos. Hopefully, you'll see some pictures of it, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.